not. Not you're not the people I'm talking about. My dry cleaner is an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I, oh, you know, I can agree with that. I mean, I've called my Chinese group players, and they can't fucking understand a word I'm fucking saying. Yeah. But, you know, it's, you know, it's a two-way street, you know? I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't, there is a few, and they're Jesus. all gay. All gay. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That's a fuck. That that's, might be fake right there. Yeah, that's that fucking... Supporting something there. <laughs> His mom's got fucked by Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I hate to be not you, but we're talking about this giant dick uh, Asian guy. Fucking dude, I'm, I'm we, we, you know, no one wants to get fucking Asian people bent out of shape, but dude, you you just you're just not fucking. You got to get better. Your people, not you. Right. Your people. Let me uh, thank you, uh, Jason. There's uh, a bunch of uh, Asians now calling. Uh, Mark in Texas. Mark. Hey. Hey, buddy. Uh, so, I, Patrice, I, I'm a little annoyed at you. Like, you, you you look at these people and you say, well, they don't know you after or how many years. Do you know their names? Yeah, Lee Fong or Henry Wu. <laughs> First of all, here's another guy. Again, again, dude, you, you're defending your people, and I understand that. I'm not angry with that. But do you notice how you're not fucking Asian? You're, you're, you're fucking English. You, yeah. your, 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 your heritage is Asian, but you're not these people I'm talking about that I do business, that I give a lot of money. Between the dry cleaner, the laundromat, the fish guy, okay, and the fucking housekeeper at one point, at least, at least $900 every couple of months I'm dishing out to a fucking Asian who treats me like shit. <laughs> That's fantastic. You're you're contributing to the uh, to my college fund. But uh, listen, my parents owned a, uh, a grocery store in uh, Atlanta for a number of years. I feel I sorry for your mother. Run. That's from. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love that one. I feel sorry for your mother. For your mother. <laughs> What'd you say, motherfucker? What motherfucker? That guy was But go ahead, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm gonna come down there. No, but I mean, it, it's not right. White people come in there and treat us like crap. And, and you love it. You love it. I see how white people treat you, and you fucking love to get treated like shit oh, no, by white people. Money. We love the money. I'm married to a white woman now, but listen, I, I, we love the money. We love the money that we get from you, and we treat you like crap, too. Because mm -hmm. the way, way you guys look at us sometimes is like, well, this, this fucking guy who came over here, and it's just running this restaurant. Can I, can, I, can I tell you what black people do with Asians? We come in and we're super, we super, we want, to, we want you to be nice to us so bad. You treat us like shit. We go into your bulletproof Chinese restaurants <laughs> and, and you treat us like garbage. And we are above you in the oppression game. You don't treat us bad. You, we treat you bad. Like, meaning, meaning this. Don't treat us like white people treat us, nigga. We're in this together. It's like I come in your restaurant. You're in a black community restaurant treating me like shit. Black people love Chinese food, and we love the bad Chinese food. White people going to China. It's like, I want no MSG. I want the, the specific steamed, thing. I steamed have the broccoli, steamed broccoli. Brown rice. Mm. Black people go, give us the horse shit that you was going to throw away, and we're going to eat it. <laughs> Come on, man. And again, you married a white woman. You didn't even marry your rigid, corny-ass women. <laughs> rigid, corny. You didn't. I bet your parents didn't like that, right? No, they loved it. Why? Ask them. Oh. Why'd your parents like that? Um, they don't know, so... Hmm. Oh, you kept it from them? Well, no, they, they're they they're kind of not in the country anymore, and... Oh, I oh okay. Them in a oh, boy. Oh, all right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, a whole story and shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, a, that's a big oh, story what's going there. on there? Oh, boy. Second yeah, Asian is gonna... American, though. Yeah. Now, why oh, were you boy. saying the parents don't mind... Because they love white people. It's an yeah. upgrade. It's an up if you if an Asian marries a white person, an Asian woman marries a white guy, it's a fucking tremendous I was, upgrade. I always really? heard that it was yep. going to be a Ask problem. Them. No. In other cultures, no. that's not the, the they case. They love white guys. But let an Asian girl bring a white guy home. All right, Mark, thank you. i got to give some other people a chance here. I, I appreciate you <laughs> defending uh, your culture there. Let's go to Justin in Ohio. Justin. Hey, what's up, boy? Hey, man. Hey, uh, okay, so I'm Filipino-American, and... Um, I just started listening to the show. Um, I've been into Dennis, so I, I'm just catching the tail end of the conversation. And a lot of the generalizations that you guys have made about Asians, 
are fairly accurate, I must say. And uh, I don't know. I okay, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just lost. No, I'm still on. I'm still on. I lost it. I lost my What, you get an MSG headache in the middle of your phone call? (laughs) Yeah, basically. But uh, the small penis thing, I'll admit it, I'm not, you know, packing really anything big, but... Um, I will tell you that. I, but but I, hey, I, hey, dude, yeah. hey, dude, can I say one thing about the small yeah. penis thing? It doesn't matter. I'm not packing major wood like that. I'm saying, as far as the misery of the women, mm. is that they they're so committed to their own people, but they're so that they won't explore something else that uh, maybe a bigger dick could make them happier. Right. But they're so fucking loyal Agreed. to their fucking bullshit that they won't ex- they won't fuck with a nigga, fuck with a big dick Puerto Rican. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if you've ever been to Ohio, buddy, but there are so many Asian women that are with black dudes here. Yeah, but that's magical niggas. Like, you got to have a, <laughs> you have to have genie pants. Silver shoes and a half an afro and half fucking dreadlocks. You can't be a normal nigga. You have to be fucking. You have to be a fucking. What's the what's up? What's his name there? Max Maxwell or the, what's the other guy? Uh, fucking Lenny Kravitz to get a Chinese bitch, nigga. You can't be a regular nigga and get a Chinese bitch. They ain't having it, man. They ain't well, have having you it. Seen Maxwell lately? He's a big fat bastard. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's I I I I take pride in learning a little bit about it because it's interesting shit. I I give money to Asian um people have great service. They do not bullshit, man. My dry cleaning as much as I would want to find. I used to go to a Russian <laughs> lady for my dry cleaning. Yeah, she was a wonderful talking woman, but I would have fucking jelly stains. On my pants, and I don't eat jelly. (laughs) This Asian guy, the service is phenomenal. But he just won't be nice to me. Mm -hmm. He just (laughs) won't be nice. There's an Asian buffet that I frequent close to where I live, and there's this fucking asshole manager. No matter how nice you are towards him, you know, (laughs) just talk to him friendly and say hello and how how are you doing. He's just a big fucking cocksucker, like. Here, here's your food. No thank you yeah. or anything. Just yeah, you got to deal with the fucking public. You got to have a personality. It's, it's shocking. You got to show me. something. Shocking. Right, right on, man. All right, Justin, thank you. All right, uh, Bobby in uh, New York. Uh, Bobby. Hey, uh, I have actually two examples. One, I have a friend living in Hong Kong, and he he just came home for a couple weeks, and he says, you don't understand what it's like to be spit on. And I thought, like, they were spitting on him because he was American. No, no, they just spit as a part of their culture, and indoors, it, it doesn't matter. If they're if they're clearing their throat, they're spitting out, just like if they're, they won't have the door open for you because it's it's a waste, of, it's considered a waste of time. They, wait, and say, what's the waste of time? Holding a door. Holding a door. Like, there, there's no politeness because you're just... Oh, I'm going to try that one out. I wonder if that's <laughs> yeah. real. And then if you get yelled at, you go, I'm not wasting my time. Exactly. That's where then, it goes. Uh, I, could, I, could, wow. I could relate to it where I worked in a Chinese restaurant for about four years delivering. Now, I was considered a peasant because I was a delivery guy. But from the area I'm from, I'm from a good area, and you made a lot of good money delivering the food. But once they realize, like, the size of your house or what you drive, they treat you like you're, <clears throat> you're just a, you know, you're, you're one of them now because you have enough money because in their country – it's if you you have all the money or no money, and you're treated like a peasant. Mm. Well, look at you trying to talk low, and um, I, I'm at work, and I don't want to be too loud. <laughs> and, well, and, and, and another thing, is loud. They, don't, they don't understand any type of humor, like sarcasm. You, you I, I don't think they do either. It doesn't relate. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't it doesn't relate. translate. Yeah. Sarcasm. Only thing that's funny to them is. Oh, no, 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 no. Fucking a girl with fucking a blurred out pussy <laughs> with a rat crawling in her asshole. <laughs> Let me say, I saw a fucking Chinese thing where they had a bitch's head sticking out of a, out of the floor yeah. and and gave her a fucking meatloaf hat. And let and let Gila monsters, <laughs> Komodo <laughs> dragons, uh, run around to uh, eat the meatloaf hat, and they go, and that's they think that's hilarious. Shows. That's one of those game shows, right? They think it's hilarious. Yeah, they're game shows. They don't care if people are just about being killed. <laughs> That's what they find funny, though. Like, that they let people hat. run on icebergs and let them fall off and smash their face into one when and, they're trying to jump. And, and we step on that, that stick, the, the uh, 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 what do they call that, that show on ABC? Oh, yeah. The Great Buns. I, they lo- I watch uh, Ninja Warrior and the other thing they do, the Great Buns. I, you know, I watch it for a second. But you, after a while, you go, eh. 
This is the meatloaf hat shit. Oh, man, look at this. It's a pork chop. There's a big fucking... Gila monster. A woman in danger is hilarious in Japan. Man. Oh, you are out. So what? It's the last girl to have her head up. This is kind of genius, though. If you <laughs> they're just screaming, they're fucking screaming and running away from this monster. Their heads are sticking out of a hole. <laughs> With Kobe beef fucking yeah. strapped to the top. <laughs>